Bienvenidos a esta presentación de los mandatos nosotros. This presentation is going to talk about how to form nosotros commands and how to use them with pronouns. So first let's talk about what a nosotros command is. How do you tell yourself and your friends to do something? In English this is the equivalent of you saying to your friends or to a group of people, let's go, let's talk, let's dance. It is a command and you're telling the group to do something and since you're part of the group it is the first person plural nosotros command. The steps are the same as the negative two familiar commands and the formal commands. The first step is to obtain the present tense yo form. The second step is to drop the O. The third step now is to add the opposite nosotros ending. Hablamos with an A-M-O-S means we speak. Hablemos means let's speak. And the negatives are simple. You simply add a no before the command to say let's not talk, let's not eat, let's not leave. We have the same usual suspects as far as the irregulars are concerned that we do with the other commands. Id is a little bit more irregular. In order to say let's go, we say vamos. To make it reflexive, we say vámonos but it's no vayamos. You would think that if it followed the pattern of the negative familiar commands and the formal commands that the affirmative would be vayamos but it is either vamos or vámonos and no vayamos is the negative command. The, other, the others are consistent with what you've learned. Estemos or no estemos. Seamos or no seamos demos and sepamos. And again, these five verbs are irregular because they don't have an O in the yo form of the present tense to drop. And that means that you can't follow the steps to form them. Verbs that end in car, gar, zar also present a problem. When we add an E, since they are AR verbs, when we add the E of EMOS, the opposite ending, it changes the sound. So the endings for verbs that end in C-A-R, for example, tocar would be toquemos with a Q-U-E-M-O-S. Jugar becomes juguemos with a G-U-E-M-O-S. And cruzar becomes crucemos with a C-E-M-O-S. The one special thing about the nosotros commands that makes them a little bit more difficult than the ustedes commands, for example, are the stem changing verbs. Present tense AR and ER stem changing verbs do not have a stem, do not have a stem change rather in the nosotros command. For example, pensar, which usually has an IE stem change, the yo form would be pienso, does not have a stem change and it is pensemos. So you still follow the steps as far as dropping the O and adding the opposite ending of the yo form, but don't use the stem change. Volver, which is usually a UE stem changer, is volvamos. Present tense IR verbs do have a stem change in the nosotros command form. The stem change are, is an E to an I and an O to a U. There is no IE or UE stem change. Pedir becomes pidamos, and dormir becomes durmamos. If this group of stem changers sounds familiar, it is because they are the same group as the preterite stem changers. Only IR verbs that are a stem change in the present tense require a stem change in the preterite tense and also in the nosotros commands. So what do we do with the 
pronouns. As with the affirmative commands that we learned with ustedes and usted and the two f and the negative two familiar commands, as actually with all commands, we add the pronoun to the end of an affirmative command. Compremos, and if we want to say, yes, let's buy it, the it refers to the painting, la pintura, a feminine singular, singular noun. The correct way to say it is compremosla. As you know, if you notice, there's an accent on the third syllable from the end when we add a pronoun to the nosotros commands. Debemos empezarla? Sí, empecemosla. Pidamosle. In this case, the le is a direct, indirect object pronoun, rather, indirect that is, and le is added to pidamos. Again, pedir is a stem changer, that's an IR verb, so the stem change of an e to an i is required. And as with the other two, there's an accent mark that's required as well. The one tricky part to this is when you add the pronoun nos to the end of a nosotros command, in order for it to sound a little more smoothly, what you do is you drop the S of the command before you add the nos. So rather than saying acostemos nos, which sounds a little cumbersome, we say acostemonos. With negative commands, the no is simply put in between the, I'm sorry, the pronoun is simply put in between the no and the command. No la compremos, no la hagamos, no le pidamos, no nos acostemos. Practiquemos. The nosotros command of toner is tengamos, vivir, vivamos, ser, seamos. The affirmative and negative of ear are different, don't forget. The affirmative is vamos or vámonos, and the negative is no vayamos. Poner, the yo form is pongo, pongamos, is the command. Escribir is regular, escribamos. Salir also has an irregular yo form, but is, an irreg is a regular nosotros command. Salgamos. And reflexives, such as bañarse, bañémonos. No nos levantemos would be the negative command of levantarse. Gracias por ver esta presentación y te deseo mucho éxito.